Hey, what's up, guys? It's Reed Young, aka Shooter here. I'm bringing you guys another sick hand that I played a while back. It's at uh, 510, no limit, five handed. And if it sounds like I'm recording out of a tin can, it's because I left my good microphone at the lake house where I was over uh, Labor Day weekend. So, hanging out with the buddies there. And I also wanted to say, I want to try to get these videos out to you guys pretty regularly now. It seems like I'm getting a, a lot of subscribers, so that's pretty sweet. Thank you guys for sharing it on Twitter and uh, hitting like on the YouTube video. That really helps out a lot. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, so let's get into the hand here. The under the gun player, which is also the hijack, raises. And you guys can see we're about 150 big lines deep. And I'm on the button with ace-king, and I kind of make a strange play and just call. And the reason I did that, and it's definitely very uncharacteristic of this hand, and me with, you know, how, how much I like to re-raise in position and things like that, and uh, the player I'm facing because he's definitely aggressive and capable. But it's because the big blind was just a massive psycho fish just punting off stacks like a complete retard. So I just elected to call on the button here to kind of trap him, get him, uh, get in some big pots with a better top pair hand and hopefully take it down uh, pretty often. So I decided to call and let him come along. He does come along, so that's sweet. And I flop top two pair, which is also awesome. So my plan is to uh, go ahead and flat the under the guns continuation bet in hopes that the big blind comes along. Unfortunately, he doesn't. So plan A is kind of down the drain, but plan B is still looking pretty good because I have top two pair with a very underrepresented hand against a player who's capable of barreling and capable of having a lot of worse hands to open, especially because the big line's a fish. So I, th I would expect him to try to be playing hands with this guy a lot more often and a lot of those hands to be weaker. So it's pretty cool that I can have a hand like ace-king in my range here and be able to just, uh, take all the heat that he can throw at me. So I do like to call on the flop. The turn is the queen of clubs, which kind of sucks because I don't really expect him to get too bluffy or too out of line on this card, being that my range looks pretty speculative. Um, you know, I could have a lot more flushes and a lot more straights than he can, I think. So when he does check, I just decide to check back because I think if I bet it would fold out a lot of his slightly worse hands like king queen or uh, you know maybe ace 10 or something like that so I don't think there's really that much value in betting you know had I been turning hands into a bluff in this spot earlier I think it's a, a good time to get some thin value just because it really looks like I can't have ace queen or ace king that often and if I do bet I'm really only repping a flush or a straight so I think you can get a lot of action that way from a good hand reader um, as the case is, I just uh, didn't have the, the relevant history with this player, so I decided to check back um, and hope to get one street. I think my best chance of getting that one street um, after the flop is on the river. So I check back. The river is the king of clubs, and this dude just fires out two and a half times the size of the pot. And first I'm like, wow, does he really have a royal flush here? Like, what the hell is going on? But I don't think he would overbet with the royal necessarily. Um, probably go for a check raise more often, just because when people make huge hands, a lot of the time they go for a check raise. Also, I don't think he would check the jack of clubs on the turn almost ever, because he would want to get in a lot of money with the clearly best hand and, and likely best draw. So I think a royal is heavily discounted. There's really only one combo of aces, so I'm not worried about that at all. Um, I don't think you would necessarily check the turn with it always either, so uh, looking pretty good against this range, not really worried about it, so I think it's a very standard call, but the reason why I'm showing you guys this hand is because I think it's a really sick spot for him to bet the flop, check the turn with a lot of his range, and then bluff the river with a lot of those weak made hands that he's planning on showing down. Hands like, uh, I don't know, like a weak ace -X, or if you just randomly had like pocket nines with a club, maybe a hand like that. Uh, so when I do call, 
he has a6 so I mean it's pretty much like the the perfect hand for him to have to bluff with I think his one mistake though was over betting it just it really isn't that necessary unless he thinks I'm gonna be folding king queen and after this hand I was kind of like wow that would be really crazy if I was folding hands as strong as king queen here I mean I don't think I would be but the fact that he could bet check bet and represent such a strong range relative to my range kind of gave me pause and I thought it was a pretty cool spot to show you guys there's a lot of cool spots you get bet check bet when he basically has to have something to check the turn because it's such a good bluff card for him um, you know it's not the ideal bluff card but I think if he does check the turn he has a made hand a lot more often than just complete air uh, if he's continuation betting this flop multi-way and against a weaker player I think he also has something a lot more often than just uh, pocket fours or something like that. So I thought it was a pretty cool spot to show you guys. Uh, let me know what you think about it. If you uh, have any more bet check bet spots, send them in to uh, shootastaking at gmail.com and I'll try to review your hand. I'm getting a lot lately, so I'll try to put them out more often for you guys. If, if you do like the videos, follow me on Twitter, like it on YouTube, all that good stuff. It really helps the channel grow. And I can keep them coming for you guys. Thanks for watching.